Droid! <laughs> yeah, dude, those droids are too small to control. Uh. C c what'd you get? C Colloid! Mer Helen of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what I'm getting left here? in the dust here. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, I'm you know what's great? What's that? Malapropisms. Yeah? yeah Why don't you talk great. about it? They're, they're fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're watching The West Wing. I really like it. It's a very should, good show. Should we talk about politics more? Do we have, like, a civic duty to use our platform? Yes. All 11 of you who already agree with us <laughs> on every one of these issues... <laughs> Listen up! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've been watching The West Wing, sure. and was it you or Ryan who pitched the show to me as "What if Bernie Sanders won"? Because like me. that was that was the like well that's a very good argument. Yep. For me watching this that show. That was me. Uh, I'm remembering that conversation now. That was me specifically because I was trying to get you to watch it. Yeah, that that you nailed that one. Uh, it's, it's really great, and I notice, like, whereas with a lot of shows, there's, like, you know, episode-to-episode episode kind of things, or, like, season-to-season season kind of things. Like, there's definitely, you know, seasonal arcs going on, but a lot yeah. of the times, like, it just blends into each other, you know? Like, How did these Jedi get in front of us? Um, they ran. They didn't have to deal with four goddamn droids. Oh, he died. Maybe they should have dealt with the droids instead. Yeah. Okay. I suspect that is not how this is gonna go down. I disagree. Oh, they're already kind of weakened. Your health is hard. You're hey. so fucked. Hey. Oh, they're healing by sapping my strength. Well, guess what? Stasis or not? Yeah, Stasis <laughs> is doing it. Is doing it. Don't give them the option or not. They're always gonna pick that. <laughs> they will choose not. They'll choose to survive. Lucky. That's right. I'm so glad I'm in Zalbar's back with us. What were you saying about Westworld? I was saying like. Like sometimes it'll just be like, yeah, this is you know new status quo, and that'll that'll just like go for a season and a half. I don't know. And like you know when they introduce a character, it's like no, this this character's just here now. You know, it's not like oh this is the character who shows up for one season and then just kind of leaves. Yeah. Uh, forget I keep forgetting that Ainsley <laughs> exists because like she'll just be there in the basement, I guess. She's uh, not there forever. She does leave and like not come back. She has like a leave leave. Like, leave. Hey, why don't you ask Ainsley about this? Like, because Ainsley doesn't work here anymore, you ass. Yeah. They'll also, they'll also just like, you know, things happen and they, they, they're permanent in the a lot of ways. The evolution of Will, Will Bailey's character is bizarre, but I think actually accurate of how things work in Washington, D.C. Yeah. But it just constantly seems like he doesn't remember what he was doing. 20 minutes ago, but I have this new job now, and I have to act this way. Yeah. And I think, like, my understanding is that's ridiculous and kind of unpleasant and alienating to watch, and also 100% how true. that works. Yeah. That, like, no, and especially now, with Trump fucking taking over the presidency, no one says to Not, Will Bailey, yeah. you were running a local campaign <laughs> for a dude who died, like, 30 seconds ago. Yeah. What the fuck are you tell it, doing telling me how to do my job? Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, until until the very end of the show, and like the last episode he's talking about, yeah, I think I might want to work in local elections. The last four or five years has been weird, <laughs> and I don't really feel like I know what I have to show for it, so I think I'm going to go back to local elections where I can like oh, shit. actually measure my accomplishments at all. I... I had this thought about the West Wing and why I like it so much. Um, and a lot of it is like that kind of Boston legally w way about it, where it's like characters dive into big sweeping speeches about principles. God damn it! And then like, and then William Shatner shoots Alan Shore yeah. and nuts with a paintball gun. Yeah, shit happens like that. Uh, but it also, I realized if someone took like you know the body of of Boston Legal and then like grafted onto it, like, the the arms and legs of Joss Whedon and Zack Snyder. Because, like, it's got that, you know, the kind of Whedon-esque patter. I don't know who came first in, in like, nailing that kind of, like, everyone's a little too witty for reality. Sorkin. Yeah, so Sorkin does it better, and Whedon Correct. is, like, definitely trying to be Sorkin at that shit, you know? He's trying to make everyone sound like they're the smartest person. 
Um, and then there are visuals where it's like, oh, look at how the way the light kind of frames his face there, and like, oh, look at how Toby's face is in shadow because he's upset, and it's like really beautiful, but like, they actually also care about the story leading up to that moment. Like, fucking... When... It's so interesting that, like, that invokes Zack Snyder Well, like, I really... For you. I, I gotta say, Snyder has a lot of great visuals, it's just that, like, that's it. I, I, I can't <laughs> say anything else. You know? That scene in Batman vs. Superman where he's, like, standing over him right before Martha happens. Like, that's really pretty. It's it's very well composed. The colors are all pretty, even with the, like, overuse of blue filter. It's, it's all very, like... There's a lot of fucking, you know, photography shit that I'm sure Joe could talk about. Joe doesn't really watch this show, but I'm sure if Joe watched the show, he'd comment being like, yeah, actually... Uh, uh, but, I don't know, it all seems like, you know, you know Tableau Vivant? Like, a lot of people fucking get together to, to make a living Tableau. Mm -hmm. It's like that. It's like they all just got together for this moment, and nobody really knows why, but gosh darn, it, it works in terms of prettiness. It's, it's, it's just interesting to me that that, that invokes Zack Snyder for you, because I absolutely agree that... You know, there are these moments in West Wing where it just shot so exquisitely beautifully. Yeah. But that, to me, doesn't specifically call Zack Snyder. I just go like, oh man, somebody on the show really cared about cinematography, and other people listened to that person and let them do whatever the hell they wanted to do. Um, well, rather I mean, than, like, Zack Snyder, I agree, is a, is a, a really great visual artist in all of his films. But I don't, I don't think of him as as the height of good cinematography. I, when I see good cinematography in other places, I don't sit there thinking, "Huh, this is, this is kind of Zack Snyder." -y. Well, maybe it's just that like he's the most like cinematography heavy guy that I've had a, uh, experienced any art of. You know, like I. I Batman I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if Zack Snyder's work is just the most you've ever thought about cinematography. Maybe I mean it's uh, it's not entirely, but like it's it, it, it there's a lot of like you know maybe not maybe not in quantity but in like per capita. There's also like, like a lot for of Zack Snyder movies. Yeah. You spend more time yeah, thinking exactly. about the cinematography than you normally do for movies. Uh, there's also like a lot of similar like playing around with light and dark that you know is is common in all people who think about cinematography, but, like, specifically... I'm thinking of, um... The episode about PTSD, you know, oh, with Josh, and, like, it just is that one shot where it's, like, him in front of the, the windows, and the light is just pouring through, and it's like, whoa. Jesus. No, Josh. It was the instruments. Oh, man. It was the brass band in the morning. Yeah, you know how fucking strong I've gotten here? Like, I'm just winning. Just breaking through. I'm not even shit. trying. Well, opposite of terrorists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost it's like a, some kind of... It's a Surat. Yeah, oh, dang. It's almost like some kind of linear progression in a game to make you feel powerful or some bullshit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dicks, so just as I get cocky. All, darn it. All, you're all pink now. You know what? Why don't I fucking force... Why don't, you, why, don't I, why don't I try for a second here? Let me just level you up, Zalbar, real quick. Real as quick. And then we got an idea. Strength, obviously. Skills, uh, sure, sure, demolitions, awareness, I, don't, I walk into enough mines, that's good. Oh, you got two level ups, fuck it, dude. You do you. Uh, Jolie, oh boy. Um, you know what, that's actually okay. <laughs> All I need is Zalbar to just, like, hit him, just hit him, stop trying to hit him and hit him! Oh man, I, you know that scene in the Matrix, where like, yes. you know when Morpheus is fighting Neo? Uh, and, and Mouse walks in, and he's like, Morpheus is fighting Neo! And everybody just flips <laughs> Everyone just shit. goes. Someone, like, really pointed out that it kind of looks like everyone's, like, getting up to beat the shit out of Mouse, who was running away. It's like, Morpheus is fighting Neo! And everyone's like, get him! He's like, oh, shit! <laughs> Someone climbs over the table! <laughs> just, just really want to kick the shit out of Mouse. The first Matrix is written oh, so God. well. I everyone's character... Even the characters that we know basically nothing yeah. about are so deep and rich. Like Switch. Yeah. Switch tells us so much yeah. with so little. Yeah. Ah. 
Frizz Matrix is a joy for me. Is there is there any other character you can think of with as few lines and screen time as Switch who has as memorable of a line and line delivery as not like this, not like this? Um, it's such a good death scene. It is. It's, it's so powerful God. and so heart wrenching. Love the first. Movie. And Switch is barely on screen in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we'll be back to talk about the Matrix and shit, and hopefully, when we <laughs> close out here, we won't find that all of our footage is up and died. <laughs> We're really concerned We're about really that. Hoping. We don't. We don't want to do any more uh, accidental podcasts. But anyway. If oh boy, let me loot these guys. Just one way or another, we'll find out next time. Mm. Brand quest.